Hi everyone, welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. Today is Monday, February the 19th. This is President's Day. And when I was transcribing the grid, I counted 24 digits, but nothing in box 9 and nothing in row 8. So that'll make things interesting, but here's a 9-7 and here's a 9-7, but they don't interact in the same row. So those two 9s force one of those to be a 9, but this can't be, so that one is. Well, how generous of them. These two 7s will force one of those two to be a 7. Uh, 5, 3, 2, 8, and 6 appear once each. So I think we're done with the top three rows, the middle three rows. I can place a 4 in row 6. Is that all I'm going to get? That may be all I'm get. These two ones, although in different columns, because they cross different thirds, I can't place any useful information about where one goes in box five. But without the four in the middle three rows, I've got six, one, nine, two, five, seven. I think I'm done. And then in the bottom three rows, I have no repeats. Okay, what about columns? Here's a nine, here's a nine. Nine's one of those two. Can't go there, so it goes here. And these two nines in the row interact for a nine at one of those spots. Okay, so this 6 and this 6, we'll put a 6 on the right of box 1. Okay, if 6 and 9 aren't there, I've got 7, 4, 1, 5, 8, 3 appearing once each, I'm done. The middle rows, here are some 7s, so a 7 goes to one of those two. Six ten. Yeah. Two five nine. Yeah. Two five nine. Thirteen fifteen. Seventeen. Twenty one twenty four. Two, six, two, five, nine, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, twenty-one, twenty-four. 13, 15, 17, 21, 24. And I for, just realized there's nothing in box five either. Well, they really are actually living up to their moniker here. Anyway, where were we? Uh, seven, I put in something. Okay, eight, nine, two, four, nine, two, five, seven. Okay, I could place a nine and a two, and a nine and a two. So a nine is one of these two. A two is one of these three. This is almost, but not quite, a hidden two-nine pair. And somehow, with that, I'm supposed to figure out the rest of the grid. Okay. Well, actually, okay, well... Four, nine, oh, nine's already in here. Six is already in the box. Four is the only thing that looks in the box seven. Wait a minute, seven can't go here, so seven's one of these three. That'll put seven on one of these two. Oh, seven's one of those two, it can't go there. Okay, four looks in, which means that four has to go in one of those two. But I have nothing on where 4 is in box 8 or 9, so I, that's as far as that goes, I think. 3, 5, 6, 8, 9 says I need 1, 2, 4, and 7. Well, this is 1, 2, or 4. Oh. It can't be 4 or 7. This is 1, 2, 4. This is 1, 2, 7. Because it can't be 4, and this isn't 1, so this is 2, 4, or 7. Okay, well, that was not all that helpful. Okay, 8 looks in. So 8 in box 6 is one of those two. So 8 in box 9 is one of these two. Yeah, I can't 
can't do anything with row 4 because I have nothing in box 5 to figure out what it doesn't go with. Hmm. Okay, 8 looks in. So 8's in one of those two. And box 2. And this 8 and that virtual 8 will force an 8 down here in box 1. 2, 6, 7, 9 in row 3 says I need 1, 3, 4, 5, 8. I see 3 and 5. This is 1, 4, or 8. This is a C's 1 and 8. This is 3, 4, or 5. This is 1, 3, 4 because it can't be 5, 8. This is 1, 3, 4, 5 because it can't be 2 is not 8. Okay, 1, 3 cross a region. That's not helpful. Let's see. These are not 7 or 9. So we start with that configuration. Okay, those aren't five. These are not four or six. Neither of these two are three or eight. This isn't one. Uh, that's not one or eight. Okay, that was not helpful. Three, seven, eight, nine says I need some combination of one, two, four, five, six. In row 2. Well, those are 1, 2, 4. Neither can be 5 or 6. This isn't 2. Let's see. This is 1, 2, 4, and 8 for box 2. Oh, well. Okay, so I hit 7 in one of two spots. Uh, this is like 1, 3, 4. None of them are 5, 6, 7. That's not 4, that's not 7. Okay, these cells... Six, eight for the even digits, then one and three for the odd digits because it sees the rest of them. Okay, this sees one, six, and eight. That is a three. Okay, so these aren't three. And these aren't three. This is also not eight. Okay, one, six, eight. There's a triple. I may as well mark it. Let's see. That three, unfortunately, doesn't interact with anything else other than row four. I can't do much else with it. Erg. But one, three, four, six, nine. I need two, five, seven, and eight to finish the row. Not five or seven, not seven. Nothing else to go with it. Let's see. This is any, literally anything that's not 3, 5, or 8, so that's not going to be helpful. This cell cannot be 1, 3, 5, 6, or 8. This isn't 3, 5, 7, 8, or 9. Let's see, this is not 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 8, or 9. This is 3 or 7 only. This can be about just about anything. This is not 2, 3, 4, 7, 9. I'm going to pack configuration. Okay, this cell is not 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is 3, 4. Explicitly, that could be about anything. This one isn't two, three, seven, or nine. Uh, 
that's one, three, five, six, eight. Okay. These cells, none of these are one, four, six, eight, nine. So these are only from two, three, five, and seven. That's these two, that's these five and seven. Okay, these are from two, three, five, seven, eight. Well, wait a minute, except none of these are three, five, seven. Because right, one, four, six, nine says I need two, three, five, seven, eight, except none of these can be three, five, or seven, so that's a hidden two, eight pair. That's been sitting here the whole time. And this has a two looking at it. Eight, two, that's a three. This can't be two or eight. And also that turns into five or seven, that turns into five or seven. This eight means that's not eight, and this, this cell is. Because I put eight in one of only two spots, yay. Okay, that's not two. Uh, that's not eight. Okay, not three. Not three. Oh, I still have one in three spots. There, that's annoying. But wait a minute. Okay, those can't be three. This can't be three. This can't be three because of that. So three in column two goes here. Let's see, this 3 and this 3 now combine to force a 3 in one of these two, but this can't be 3 because of that, so this cell is now a 3. So 4, not 4. Okay, that doesn't quite help me place something in box 9, but this 8 looks over here, so this is forced to be an 8. Okay, this is now a 1-6 pair, and so I've got... So those are going to be 3, 5, 7, 9 in some order, because 2, 4, 6, and 8 are all seen, as is 1. So this is 5 or 7, this is that. Whoops. Okay, this is 3 or 9 explicitly. Oh, this is 5 or 7, which means this is going to be 3 or 9. I may as well kill that. Okay. I've got a 3-9 pair in box 5, but really nothing else to go with it, which is mildly annoying. But, okay, this 8 means that's not 8. This 4 comes up here, those are not 4. Okay, this is going to be 1, 5, 6, or 8. Is it 2, 4, 8, or 9? I got too many possibilities there. That's not helpful. Okay, let's look here. 1, 4, 5, 6, 8. I need 2, 3, 7, and 9. Well, neither of them can be 7, actually. This sees 3 and 9, so that's a 2. This is not 2. So 2 is definitely one of these two. 3, 9, along with 7, 9, and 3, 7. That's a triple. But because it crosses a region, I don't know much of anything else that goes with it. That 2 says this is not 2. And neither is that. This could still be one, that's irritating. Okay, well, actually, wait a minute. We know these three are a triple because I've got the other six digits looking at it. These are one, four, and six in some order. Not 
six, not one. Okay, so those four are two, five, seven, eight quad. Hidden. I've got that five, seven that offsets but interacts with this five, seven. These two are still way too many possibilities now. Oh, look, here's a 3, 9. Okay, so I've got 3, 5, 6, 7, 9. Interacting in column 4. And this sees 1 and 2, so that's down to 4 or 8. These are not 1, 2, or 7. None of them are going to be 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6 is possible. 7 and 9 are not. Okay, so these are going to be 8. That's the only other possibility. Uh, these can be a whole bunch of things. Okay. Neither of them are 1, 2, 7. By box logic. This can be anything. That's not three or nine. Okay. I got a four, five, six, eight there. I've got three fourths of a four, five, six, seven, eight, but I don't have anything else to go with it. Okay, I got one and one of those two in box one. Oh, this is a hidden one four. That's uh, that's a five. Okay, seven five. Uh, that's five, which means this has to be seven. That's not five. Okay, so this is now two eight. Okay, the middle third of the grid is completely done. But five comes up here. This isn't five. So that's a one two pair in column two, which looks at this. That's seven. Four must go here, which means this can't be four, so that's an eight. Now neither of these are five nor eight. So that's a four six pair, which means neither of these are four or six. And the only place for four in row nine is right here. So this is an 8, and therefore that must be in box 9. Oh, look, there's another one. Uh, 4, 6 looking here, so that's a 1. This is 4, that's 6. That triple is resolved. 8 in column 4 comes up here, that's 2. Uh, this now can't be 2 or 4, so that's a 1. So column 4 is done, except for the 3-9 pair. This 2 makes that 8. Which means this is an 8, and that one is. Okay, 2, 4. That's left. That, okay, this can't be 8, so that's a 5. This can't be 5 or 8. So that's down to a 3-9, roughly. Okay, well, 1 makes this 2. So that's one, and this is four, and that's a two, and therefore that triple is resolved. Four makes this one, which means column one is complete. That's not two. That's not two or five. I can get rid of the corner sixes because the left third of the grid by columns is done except the four six. Well, that's short lived because two comes over here, four. Sorts out four, two, uh, six, and four. This one sorts out four. Okay, uh, one and six makes this a five. Well, 
get rid of those because that doesn't do me any good. Oh, this can't be two, this can't be two, so two must go here. Box nine, this is not two. One and five come in here. Six to complete row nine. Five is going to make this a one. That's six. And this drops to a one seven pair. The six in column eight is going to sort out one six in row five. And the one in column eight is going to sort out seven one in row one. Seven comes down, sorts out three. Nine, three, nine, three. Okay, this is now seven. Uh, that must be nine. It's the only digit left, and this is a five. And we're done. In just over 20 minutes, I'll take it. Well, once I found the hidden pair, this was not bad, despite having two boxes completely empty and one row. I did not find this to be all that difficult, and thank you for joining me this morning.